What's happening guys, Mike here from Hammer Fitness. Today's topic is on whether or not you can actually cut for lengthy periods or not. And what I mean by cut is actually to lose weight. Now I don't actually like to use the term weight because good weight is good weight, like muscle. All right? So bad weight is fat. So when I say lose or cut, I mean cutting or losing fat. So we can only go through these periods of fat loss for a certain period of time. All right, because the rule of thumb is that we need to be in a calorie deficit, which means if your body is burning X amount of calories, we need to be burning Y amount of calories. All right, so that's our deficit, that's our amount of weight loss, not to mention all of our hormone uh, changes with the amount of macros, but that is for another video. Okay, so either way, regardless, you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. Now, what your body is actually thinking when you're going on a strategically planned deficit for a lengthy period of time or even any deficit for a solid week or more what your body is thinking it doesn't know that you're trying to lose fat because of aesthetic reasons your body doesn't uh, or your brain doesn't really care about that all it cares about is survival now the messages that the body is getting is you're actually dying there is not enough food to sustain what you are doing in terms of activity, your body mass or size, and anything else that's going on around in your life. Now what's going to happen over time, I say a good rule of thumb or amount of time to be cutting fat for or to losing that weight you want to lose is 8 to 12 weeks. All right, so this is a safe zone where you want to be losing this weight. Bodybuilders and stuff go on for a little bit longer if they want to, depending on uh, the deficit. So you can be on a smaller deficit and you can cut for longer, or you can be on a large deficit, which means you're actually going to be cutting for a shorter amount of time. Now what's going to happen is your body's just thinking about survival mode. It's thinking if we're going to sustain this, we need, we need to cut down on something. All right, that something is either going to be muscle, or it's going to be metabolism. Metabolism means the rate in which your body operates at, all right, which is controlled by your thyroid. All right, so this is essentially can damage your thyroid if you go on too lengthy periods of time trying to cut fat. Unfortunately, sometimes people get awesome results and then they don't realize that they have to back it off to then go forward again. Okay, you need to take that pause. All right, so essentially, let's say you go into a cut. Now, I explain this to almost all of my clients to get amazing results once they come to me and Hammer Fitness and the programs that I offer. They go through the cutting period of eight to 12 weeks, but they wanna keep going because obviously they've got more weight to lose. Now, I'm not gonna say you can lose it all at once. All I'm saying is it needs to be taken in a step-by-step -step process. So you can cut that fat or cut that weight that you wanna lose for about eight to 12 weeks and then you need to go on to what's called a maintenance amount of calories. This maintenance amount of calories is literally so you can tell your body that everything is in abundance, you've got food, you've got availability to substance, okay? You're actually telling your body's metabolism to come back to normal because you can actually sustain not only all your muscles, but bring up, uh, bring up your metabolism to where it should be. Now, once your body actually registers everything's okay, which is usually about, let's say, four weeks to be safe, okay? After that, you can go on to another period of eight to 12 weeks to cut even more fat and to get more shredded and get to wherever you wanna be. All right, so the idea behind all this is to take it step by step by step. I don't want you to not have this information. Go into a cut, get awesome results like I know you're able to and I know you deserve, and then go backwards because your metabolism goes down, you start losing muscle, and everything just starts going absolutely backwards. You stack the weight back on, and you're like, you know what, stuff it. Okay, I do not want that for you. So what you need to do is take this information, take it on board, and please utilize it. Next time you go into a cut and you're actually tracking all your calories, make sure you track the amount of time. This is an awesome way to stick to it as well because if you know it's just eight weeks, then that's more motivating in itself. You've just got eight weeks to stick to a diet that's in a deficit. You may feel a little bit tired. Uh, you should get used to it, but it's only eight weeks. Then you can go back to a maintenance amount of calories, what your body's burning. All right, so that should be nice and comfy. No one should actually have any problems with that. You should have a lot of energy. You should make gains in the gym. 
Whatever it is, you should feel good. It's where your body needs to be and it's where your body uh, knows that the calories you're eating is enough, all right? So that's how you get your calories, uh, your body's metabolism to stay where it needs to be. Then you can go on and get even more results by cutting weight, getting more shredded and get into that deficit again. All right, guys, so conclusion, step by step. Aim to get your deficit uh, to a certain point that you're comfortable with to stick to eight to 12 weeks, go back to a maintenance diet, and then do it again. All right, don't hit it all at once, otherwise you will go backwards. I hope this video helped, guys. If you got any questions, please comment below. I'm more than happy to help as many of you out and answer as many questions as you have coming towards me. Uh, please also subscribe to our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We got heaps, heaps more coming every single week to help you on your weight loss and fitness journey. Love you guys to bits. I'll see you guys in the next video.